Adventure Kids. How are you guys today? I am just doing a little light reading over here. Pull up a chair and I'll tell you about it. This is the story of a girl. A girl who grew up in the mountains of Colorado. A girl who wanted to be a missionary when she grew up. And so after she finished her schooling, she went to Australia to do a Bible school there. And then she went on to Papua New Guinea where she got to tell lots of people about Jesus. This is the story of how she made an important discovery and realized that she didn't have to travel to faraway places to tell people about Jesus. And so she came back home and she married her very best friend and they started their own journey and committed to trying their very best to tell people about Jesus wherever he would take them. And he's taken them a lot of places. They haven't always gotten it right. They have fallen down and gotten back up and tried again. They have two of their own little adventurers now and they are doing their very best to teach them to tell others about Jesus wherever they go. And this story is not done. It is still being written. It is A, the story of Mary Poppins, B, the story of Laura Ingalls Wilder, or C, the story of Miss Bethel. <laughs> if you get C, ding, 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 you're right. This is my story, guys. Just a tiny, tiny little snippet of it. But I have had so much fun looking back through the pages of these journals and just remembering, just remembering all that God has done and the ways that he has used the parts of my story, oftentimes the hardest parts, to connect me with other people and to allow me a door to eventually share his story through. And so this is called a testimony. When you use your story to point others to his story. And you guys have one too. Every single one of you. Your stories are just being written. And there will be the big, incredible, once in a lifetime stories. And there will be hardships. And there will be a lot of in between just regular days. But God can use every single part of our stories when we let him. And that's what the Bible is. It's a collection of stories about people who, A, had it all figured out and never messed up, or B, were just like us and messed up plenty of times and were in desperate need of God's grace and goodness. If you picked B, ding, 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 you are right. <laughs> That's what makes the Bible and all of the stories of lives lived for God so incredible. The fact that God chooses to walk through our stories, messy as they may be, to do good, to bring Him glory, and as a testimony of God's amazing power and grace. So let's pay attention as Mr. Chris takes a look at the stories of these guys we've been studying in Acts. And their stories are wild and crazy. And we know that God used those stories, used those men to spread his good news far and wide. And I hope it's an encouragement to all of us to let God use our stories and to not be afraid to share them and to not underestimate any part of our story because God is at work in it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.